It's been five days since the surgery and I wanted to give an update and give you some tips about my experience and what's happened in the five days since surgery. So surgery is on a Thursday, today is Tuesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, yep, five days. So um, with the medications that they send you home with, they can't call it in. It's a I don't know if it's a state thing, but in my state they can't. So I left with two pieces of paper, one for the pain medicine, one for the anti-inflammatory. We had to stop at the pharmacy. We just dropped it off and um, maybe I said this in the <laughs> video that I recorded on the day of surgery, but my sister-in-law went back and picked it up. So it was a little confusing about when to take those because the anti-inflammatory I had to take with food, but they said every six hours, but you can take it with meals. Well, I don't eat every six hours. So it was a little confusing to figure. So I just decided I'm going to take that breakfast, lunch, and dinner and a snack. Later in the day, it's not going to be six hours apart. There are only 16 of them. I'm already done with those. So the pain meds, I could take one or two every four to six hours. If I take two, I would get drowsy. So I did take two for the first time on Friday afternoon, and I did get kind of drowsy. I've been taking two at night lately, around 8.30 or 9. I don't wake up in the middle of the night to take more. I'm not in that much pain. Um, right now it's a little painful, but I've been working from home and I've been typing, and yeah, typing with these fingers, but sometimes just the usage of the fingers and what I do um, strains some of this in here. So now I do realize there is a splint inside of here on this side and then it's all wrapped up. I imagine I'm kind of bruised. I see a bruise here. So probably from pulling the tendon and I can kind of see that my thumb is bruised but it's probably good that it's covered up so I don't see it. But other than that, the pain has been really manageable. Um, so I want to show you some things that, um, some tricks, some tips, some products that I've been using for um, helping with showering, um, with what I can wear and what I can't because this is so big. I'm hoping that the cast ends up being smaller than this and also how I slept. So when I went home, I went home with it in a sling. I was supposed to keep the hand up. Um, they said don't wear the sling all the time, but as the arm is numb from the numbing um, shot, and as it's coming out of being numb, it will give some involuntary, involuntary, yeah, involuntary pulses, and it could just fling itself. So that's what the sling is for. But after it wore off, I haven't worn the sling since. But the instructions also said for three days I needed to keep the hand up and so when I sleep I want to show you how I would prop that up a bit. Um, the instructions also said about every 15 minutes wiggle the fingers. Hold the hand up, fingers up, and wiggle the fingers for 15 seconds. Again, it keeps the fingers from getting um, puffy. So yeah, keeps the inflammation down. So I've been doing that, obviously. <clears throat> so let me show you some other things I've been doing that have been helping a lot. In order to take a bath or shower, I was not gonna wrap my arm in plastic wrap. Instead, I got this Bath Guard bath and shower protector. This is for the arm. I'm going to link all, link all products below the video in the description box. Click show more to open that up. I'll link to this arm one and I'll link to the, um, there's one for a leg too. So here's how you, you put it on. I am going to show you, ow, 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 ow. It's hurt a little bit if I strain my, <laughs> so I say ow. It's got an elastic thing here and you put it on. Now they make this for tall people, so they smartly put on the end of here Velcro so I can bend it down and stick it. And then it has another piece that has Velcro on it too. So there's a Velcro piece here and this blue piece attaches here. Of course, I would not be wearing a shirt if I'm getting into the bathtub or the 
shower and then it wraps around. Let me do that. I'm going to put it in fast motion. When you get to the end, the last piece of Velcro, Velcro is right on there. So, um, I have been taking baths because I'm more of a bath person, but that's what works for me. And when I'm done with this and take it off, I hang it. I hang this edge on a skirt hanger and just hang it on the shower rod thingy. And I also wear this. <laughs> Yeah, shampooing your hair is really hard, and I checked with some of the cheaper salons near me, you know, the cheapo places that are cheap to get your hair cut, and to get my hair washed and dried would be between $24 and $30. So, yeah, not going to do it. So I did it myself. So I either put my head under the tub spout, or I also have a shower massage in this particular bathroom, so I take the shower massage down and I can use that as well to get a lot of the soap, although today I didn't even use that. So I want to show you something else that I put into my tub to make it easy to get out. I got two of these Moen Temporary Grab Bars for suction cup. Now the thing is, if they're going to work with your tile, your tile has to be flat and smooth. It can't have all kinds of crevices in it. And it cannot um, adhere to where there is grout. So it has to be big enough pieces of tile where this is not going to adhere to that. So you pull open these two things. You Can you see that? I think you can. You put it on the wall and then you push these things and voila now I want to show you how I use them so I don't need them to get into the tub um, again I'm trying to keep this arm dry but <laughs> because of the way my tub is I turn to get out I turn around I use this one to get myself situated, and then I use this one to knock down a shampoo bottle. No, I use this one to help me stand up. Voila. To keep my arm at a good angle while I'm sleeping, I sleep on my back, but I use two pillows. So I have one pillow down first, then I have a second pillow down second. So this top pillow is at more of an angle. So I can keep my arm at more of a 45 degree, degree angle so that my fingers are higher than my elbow and sleep on my back. So that's how I keep that up all night. Of course, being a YouTuber and having discovered over the last few years different kinds of skincare, I didn't want to stop doing my great skincare just because I was one-handed. But for a lot of things, I need two hands. So I came up with a different way of managing this while I'm one-handed. So the first is cleansing. So I haven't been using a regular cleanser, especially on my eye makeup. But what I've been doing is utilizing these little dishes that are for soy sauce when you eat sushi. So I have two of these in my bathroom. I wish they were plastic because I'm concerned that one of these days I'm just gonna whack it and it's gonna go flying and land on the floor. But so far, so good. So these, my little circle-y cotton pads. Now these I got from Walgreens and I paid better attention this time. The premium ones, they come in two different kinds and in very fine print on one of them it says exfoliating. Hang on, I gotta tell you exactly what it says. Okay, it does, it says exfoliating premium cotton rounds. So for some of them, it doesn't say exfoliating, you get them home, that's not what you want. So the exfoliating ones are really nice. They're, they're thicker, they're just stiffer, they hold their shape better. And then I'm using micellar water and I'm using the brand from CVS, it's their own brand, it's cheaper. And I just pour some in here. I take one of the cotton pads, I 
soak it, and then I do my whole face. Then I do my whole face, face a second time. Then I do a third pit, one eye. Then I do a fourth pit, another eye. I keep going over <laughs> until it's clean. Now, sometimes I'll use another cleanser, but then I have to get a washcloth or a sponge out. And yeah, just trying to do something where I'm not getting this thing wet, because you can't get this wet, by the way. I don't know if I said that before in an earlier video, but if you get it wet, you have to go back to the doctor, because they don't want this thing getting wet and getting down to the wound. Okay, so that's my cleansing. Then I'm also using these for my serums. So, part of my mess, I'm always testing different companies' products. So at first I was practicing opening this with one hand, which I can do. Hold it one hand and, and you know put in the number of drops. But now, since I have, I can have access to my fingers, I can hold it in one place and just, oh yeah, sure I can. I can turn it and then put droppers. You know, this is my vitamin C serum. I'm about seven drops in the timeless. And then right now I'm using the Matrixel, so I'll do about four drops of that. I'll put them in there and pat my fingers in and then go over my face like that. Because usually I'm using the palm of my other hand. So that's how I do that. And then any lotions I'm putting on, put them right in here. <laughs> and in the morning, my sunscreen, put the sunscreen in. Take my fingers, do this, put it all over. And I'm not using my fingers for that because my hand just doesn't turn that way and it just hurts. So I'm just using the one hand. So having these little dishes has been really great. I don't think I would be doing my skincare if I didn't have my little dishes. So that's how I'm doing my skincare. But let me tell you next about clothing because I cannot wear long sleeves with this. I really don't have any good place to show you this, but I just picked a spot and brought my lights. Like I said in the last clip, I couldn't, I can't wear long sleeve. This is so big. So I put on short sleeve t-shirts. It's October. I guess I'm glad it's not summer because if I was warm, this thing could get really tight fitting on a warm arm. So I put this arm into the shirt first, then my head, and then the other sleeve. I could probably go sleeveless too, but like I said, it is October. And it turns out that none of my fleece jackets fit, and not even my fall jacket that I wear spring and fall to walk the dog. This thing is too big. So I got myself over to TJ Maxx and I started looking and where all the wraps are and the capes and the ponchos. Now I already have a black pashmina. So I didn't want something that was that thin. And they had a lot of things in that area that were just that thin. I already have a poncho. I didn't want another poncho, but I wanted something warm. And I found a few things. Now they had some that looked like blankets that were plaid but I'm really small and when I put them on, I just look like a little kid wearing a blanket. So I got this piece at TJ Maxx. It's by Notori, believe it or not, and um, which is more of a lingerie company. And it has this animal print. It's very soft, but it's warm. And then it doesn't have sleeves. So let's see if I can put it on. <clears throat> I couldn't find it online not at Notori's website, and I couldn't find it at TJ Maxx website either. So they had one other one when I was there. So you just wear it like this, and yep, I wear it with a t-shirt and pants. I'm wearing pants by Lucy. Um, these are like um, Lululemon type pants. I, I'm wearing the loosest ones I have. They're the easiest to pull up. <laughs> and then I have my gorgeous Notori wrap. So this is how I walk the dog when it's cold out. So luckily we've had some warmer days, but not in the morning and certainly not later in the day. So this is what I've been wearing to do that. And um, if you're going to have this done and it's going to be cooler outside where you live, then I suggest you go out and find something. You can even wait until you have the surgery because you don't know what's going to look good with this and what's going to fit. You know, you might look at something, some coat or jacket and think, well, those sleeves are pretty wide. Well, this thing is bigger than you think it is. So this is what worked for me. 
So uh, check out some of my other videos in this series. You can click one of the images on the right side of your screen or click the little eye. Mouse over the upper right hand corner and click the little eye for some other videos. And I'll have check out the ones from earlier. Check out the ones from later. And thanks for watching. Bye.